In this video, we will discuss the third mode of asexual reproduction, that is spore formation. Spore formation is also known as sporulation. First, we will discuss what are spores. Spores are small or tiny, microscopic reproductive units which are formed and possess a hard protective coat which protects the young one, which protects the young one which is to be born yet. So these are the small microscopic reproductive units which have a hard protective covering over it that is known as spores. Some spores are motile in nature, those type of spores are called zoo spores. The bacterial spores which are known as endospores are the most resistant spores. That is they resist maximum to the unfavorable conditions whensoever they occur. The example of the organism which we have discussed by the spore formation is rhizopus or bed mold as well as mucor. The spores of bread mold are present in the air all the time. These spores are present in a small blob-like structure which lies over a filament and has a aerial nodule-like structure known as a hyphae. These are, are known as hyphae. Hyphae is plural, but hypha is singular. This you know, stick-like structure, stalk-like structure known as filament and over which there is a blob. What do you mean by blob? Thali Jesse structure. There is a blob-like structure known as sporangium. They are multiple in number and the plural of sporangium is sporangia. These sporangia or sporangium contain small dark colored tiny reproductive units and those are known as after a particular time, the wall of the sporangia burst. It becomes cracked open, and that is known as dehiscence of sporangia. Dehiscence means bursting open. It opened up by bursting. And that will spread the spores that will disperse the spores onto the various areas or nearby areas which wheresoever that spores fall off that spore produce or germinate to produce mycelium and that's how a new organism is produced that is the germination of spore after germination it will give rise to a young one it will give rise to a new organism so that's how the spore formation is an ex is a asexual mode of reproduction in which a single parent will give rise to a multiple number of organisms and this is the first advantage of spore formation that multiply and vary quickly or you can say the multiplication rate is high multiple organisms are produced as number of spores is quite high in an organism which produces by this method second new areas as we discussed earlier, when server that sporangium's wall burst, the spores are spread or dispersed into a large area. So spores of the new organism can be introduced to new areas or the, you know, farther places from that particular native area. So the spreading of organism take occurs. As the dehiscence of sporangium will give rise to, or you know, will disperse the spores up to a large area. So, 
these are the two advantages. Along with that, third, clones. Morphologically and genetically identical organisms are known as clones. A sexual mode of reproduction will give rise to the formation of clones, which is that is the advantage. There is no change in the organisms. So that is the spore formation along with its advantages.